Yo, 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 welcome to the podcast, welcome to the podcast, I'm your host, L.D. the Kid, and you tuning in to Likeable Dialogue. Shout out to Likeable Dialogue. Hey, man, I got my boy, uh, G. Gaston in the building, I ain't know if you had your real, I ain't ain't know if you had your real name with us, so I was like, I was gonna say G. (laughs) What up, bro? Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? Hey, man, it's good, man. Hey, man, look, man, we got my boy Gaston in the building, man. Comment, like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying, as y'all start rolling up in here, man. Um, Gaston, WrestleMania, bro, oh, my goodness, man. It, 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 man, the biggest WrestleMania or what? I Honestly, I, I have to say yes. I have to say yes. I, I, I probably watched... All of well, no, actually, I watch all of them, but I'm talking about like as a kid, I probably started out with WrestleMania five, and what were we on 40 now? Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I think because uh, you know, the, the climate we was in with Triple H, uh, or previously with Vince McMahon, Vince. He did his thing, but the only thing about Vince was I think he kind of lost touch of what what the fans wanted compared to like Triple H knows what what the you know he he cooks he knows what to do he cooks he, he knows, knows what he, to do yeah he knows what the fans want um, and you sound far away bro I don't know if it's just me or what he just seems oh, far man. away but you good you good keep going keep okay. going <laughs> okay no but with that said like Triple H you know he think about it. Look, look what happened with Cody and the Rock and uh, Roman, the main event. You know, that, that right. wasn't supposed to be like that at all. And, right. you know, they they listened to the fans and, you know, got on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. And then from there on, changed it up. You know, they, they had to flip the script at the drop of a hat. So, um, so, 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 what are we going to call this? What are we going to call it? So, the, if if we was to propose a question right now, what question would you propose to the audience? Best WrestleMania with a question mark. Yes. Best WrestleMania with a question mark. Okay, so that's gonna be the question, man. So when people tune in, uh, no, I don't want that one. I want it to be a ticker. <laughs> Look, my bad. Look, I'm still learning how to uh, operate this thing. <laughs> I want it to be a ticker. Hold on, wait a minute. What am I doing? So, best WrestleMania will be the question for you, right? Yes. The best WrestleMania. That's what I need right here. So, that's going to be the question. Uh, actually, I'm going to keep that one and do this one right here. The best WrestleMania. The best. There we go. All right, yeah. So it's gonna be the best WrestleMania, man, and that's and that's the question we proposing today. Is this was the was this the best WrestleMania of uh, of all time? I mean, to me, man, it was the best WrestleMania of all time. Starting so let's let's start with night one, man. You got Bianca Bell. No, you got uh, uh Rhea Ripley versus mm-hmm. the man Becky Lynch. Right. Also, so, are you? Uh, uh, that match, you know, um, I don't think Becky was what 100. percent I I definitely give it a 10. Definitely. You definitely give it a 10. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was it was it was pretty good, man. Let me change that background. I forgot to change the background. There we go. Boom. Now you can see the real background. This is this the background I wanted. <laughs> I forgot. I, it was the same. Okay. I ha- I had them all on the side because it was just me. But then when, it, when the second person joined, I was supposed to change the background to that right there to make it look more appealing to the audience, man. So as they tune in, man. But yeah, so Becky Lynch, um, you, so so you say she wasn't. Yeah, they said she had a fever up to like a hundred and two or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she was sick all week. But you know, um, hey, you got you know, it's time to go. You got to go. You know, the show. The so show's so still go you on. know, so let so let me propose a question to you. Okay. We know uh, wrestling is it's entertainment at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. But will we? But will we put a um a asterisk? On top of Rhea Ripley's, um, Rhea Ripley's, um, um, her match win? since she won, since she won, nah. will, will we put an asterisk on top of it? 
Because no, the no. man wasn't. Because check this out though, the man wasn't the man. And and, and those of y'all that, that don't that um don't know what I'm referring to, Becky Lynch calls herself the man. She has a new book out as well. But what I'm saying is, should we put an asterisk on top of her perform? I mean, on top of her win? No, because she no. she had a hundred and two fever and she was wrestling out in the um and she was wrestling out in the opening and like what thing was like 42 degree weather. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was it was more colder the first night than the second night. I thought thought the, the, yeah, yeah, it was more colder the first night than the second night. I will say this. Rhea was going to win regardless. Um okay. Be- Becky, you know, she she's had the title before. She's had it uh multiple times. Um yeah. This she I remember kicked, her I mean, going kicked. up against uh Sasha Banks at the time, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, at one point she kicked it for what, like um, like a year. So oh really? Y- yeah, you know, and you got you got to look at how how they're doing it now. It's the new era, so therefore, right. you know, Becky's more, you know, she's she's more polished. She's been around. Rhea's what twenty three, twenty four. Uh-huh. So there, so therefore, that. I, I feel like that's what this WrestleMania was all about. Was trying to get um, the new, the new, the, the new wrestlers involved. You know, okay, the ones that you know, the ones that been held back for so many, you know, for for a couple of years now. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I feel like I, I feel like I feel like with Triple H and him starting off. I mean, because I know he stated <clears throat> in the press conference that starting off with the women. It wasn't a knock to the women. He knew that real Ripley would um uh, real Ripley and Becky Lynch will be fire to the mm-hmm. match. You know what I mean? And so when he and when he said uh starting off with the women, it wasn't a knock that they were women. He knew that they was going to start like you know, it was gonna be a great competitive fight for them. What's your oh. thoughts on that? Yeah, of course you you know, I mean, I think he had it right. I don't think you want to I know people look at it, oh, why the girls got to go first? And also, I mean, what, Bailey and uh, E.O. Scott, they went night two right before Roman and uh, Cody. So, right. Um, so, I mean, it, it was all bounced out at the end of the day. I mean, now, if you would have had them, like, on, like, a, uh, you know, like, one of pre-matches or whatever, like, before, like, you know, pre-cards, that would have been different. That would have been a knock. But, no, Triple H, he knows exactly what he's doing. He, he, he studies the game. He he know that he he lives and breathes his business. And honestly, yeah. I was never I was never a Triple H fan. The only time I liked Triple H was uh, when he was with Evolution. Uh, when he yeah. started Evolution, but you know what? You know, you know what he he was. You know what? It's kind of it's kind of you, you're right on that because I was never really a fan of his neither. Mm-hmm. But he's like he's grown and like like I mean like as he got older, like he he had he grew on me right, and then he became mm-hmm. one of the greats, one of the vets. You know what I yeah. mean? One of the living legends. You know what I mean? I think the reason why we didn't like him as much is because I would say probably like 85% of his career, he played it as a heel versus mm-hmm. the good guy, the baby face guy. He always was the heel. So that's why yeah. we never really liked it him. You know what I mean? Yeah. That and then also like <laughs> like I, used to, I ain't gonna lie. I used to think he was like racist though because Really? When he fought, well, well, I know. Okay, like we said, it's all entertainment, right? But whenever he fought Booker T at WrestleMania, I can't remember which one it was. Um, he told you know Booker T, you know, people like you don't, you know, don't become champions. You know, uh, you know, but common street thug. You know, look at your hair, all this stuff. Um, yeah, you can look it up on YouTube. Like, it, I mean, oh back wow, on it, really? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like it was in the middle of the ring on, on a Raw, but. You know that it kind of rubbed me the wrong way, but no, man, he Triple H, he, he like I said, he knows what he's doing. You gotta remember, he started out uh, doing NXT first. You know him and Shawn Michaels. You know they started out running NXT. NXT got so big that it was almost taking like it was like almost taking just good ratings as Raw. And then, oh really? Oh yeah, yeah. And then you know Vince stripped that away from Triple H or rebranded the whole NXT. Oh, yes, 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 yes. yes. I remember that. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And Shawn Michaels yeah. over NXT now, correct? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Boys, so, you know, 
keeping it in the family. Yeah, I do remember Triple H. Um, I do remember watching NXT and was like, "Yo, this is this is because a lot of people were saying that was a better product than Raw mm-hmm. at the time. And at the time, Raw was the main draw to um to um to wrestling at that time. Mm-hmm. You know, that yeah. was like the premier event that you wanted to watch. You know what I mean? So yeah, I do recall that. So now that we under this new level of uh leadership under Triple H, Paul Levesque, um. I'm hearing his name now, it's, and yeah. it's really weird now because everybody's like Paul Levesque, Paul Levesque, and I'm like Triple H. I only know him as Triple H. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So, and that we under this era of Paul Levesque, like, how do you feel about that? Like, how do you feel like? Uh, how do you feel like his creative? Uh, he's now like, what the creative, uh, yeah. content creator officer mm-hmm. or something like that. How do you Pretty feel much. that? How do you feel about WWE now going forward? Well. I mean, if you listen to like some of the wrestlers talk, um, even in the Hall of Fame speech with uh, Paul Heyman, um, but they all say the same thing. Like he lets them do what you know, let them come with their own character and like their own uh, gimmicks, pretty much. You know, right? He gives them. The, he, he gives them. Vince would shoot stuff down. Nothing right. Um, Vince is like you know, if you were. You know, big and muscular. This is how you're gonna be. You know, uh, that's how he. That's such how this was, and he, so basically everybody was on um, handcuffs. You know, and I'm. And no, it's no knock against Vince because without WWE, I mean, without you know, it would without Vince there would be no WWE. It's no knock right, against right. Him. I, I, I just I just felt like he was out of touch. You know, so now you know you, I think you about to see. It go more back to the attitude era, right? The, right. Where, where Triple H and Shawn Michaels, the Stone Cold, and um, the Rock stuff like that, you're gonna see more of that. You, you notice how you saw the blood with Cody? Yeah, yeah, we seen the blood with Cody. Yeah. Okay. You didn't. You, you ain't seen no blood for for the past what eight or nine years? Right, 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 right. Uh, one of the things that um uh, Paul Levesque. Triple H mm-hmm. stated he was saying that um I, I seen him on the Logan Paul podcast and he stated that um that seeing blood now uh he, seeing blood now mm-hmm. will there be more blood going forward and he stated um it wouldn't be more blood going forward but it would be if it makes if it makes sense you ever heard the term if if the business makes sense if it makes sense then it would be more blood. Uh, mm-hmm. But because if because if he, he was st- and he stated that if there's blood every time every time there's blood blood mm-hmm. here and blood there blood there then when we use blood at a special moment it not it won't be as necessary special because we're it, it's become an everyday thing you see what I'm saying yeah and so and I, I, I he don't want to he don't want to overdo it and and I I totally get that I I, I agree you don't want to see blood good. every every week. You know, um, this is sports entertainment at, at the end of the day. This not right. you, this not USC. You know, right? USC, right. USC. You expect to see blood because they're actually fighting. Um, this is sports entertainment, so it's a little different. Um, so with the product, you want to make sure you don't overdo it to where. Um, let me give an example. Um, AEW, right? They all they always showing blood, always. Right. I only I only right. watch AEW, but the clips I see, they're always showing blood, um, hardcore matches, stuff like that. And nobody wants, I mean, nobody wants to see that all the time. So right, it's just right, a right, right. So man, look, let's get into some of these matches, man. So we got we have we have the the ladies at the bottom, some of the the, the top dudes at the top. Roman Reigns kind of hiding back there, but let me uh let me move the banner so you people can see. Let me move the banner so people can see uh Roman Reigns. So you got we got Roman mm-hmm. back there as well. You know what I mean? Uh, mm-hmm. let's talk about some of the matches, man. What was some of the matches that stood out to you, man? Besides the main event, because the ma- okay. the two main events, we'll get into those two. Besides okay. the two main events, which ones that uh stood out to you the most that you and um, your friends maybe talked about or whatnot? That Bailey and EO Scott match. 
That was a great the, match. The Bailey and which one? Oh, yeah, Eo, that was Eo good. Stunner. Dude, did Bailey hurt herself or something? Like her knee or something? She was like down the whole time. I don't know if she like really like hurt, you know, because she came from a bad injury. So I don't know. Okay, if okay. Like, I don't know if that was more of the play okay. or if that if that was reality. But okay, that was a that was a good match. Uh I would say Bailey, EO Sky. Um I like the hurt business or Bobby Lashley in in Street Profits versus um um Killer Cross in his in ADP. I I, uh-huh. I like I, I like that match, but I don't know, something was just missing out of that one. Just I don't know what it was. I don't I don't I don't know. Something was missing out of that one. Um what's another good match? Drew McIntyre and 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 Seth. That was a great match. Yeah, that was that was that yeah, that was a that, that was a good match. Uh l- let's talk about Jay Cargill and okay. um Bianca Belair and Naomi. Um mm-hmm. What do you think about what did you think about that match? You know, I think the match was I think the match was good, but I feel like I read a couple of comments where they was talking about Jay Cargill and they were yeah, saying that, that, she, that she, can't she can't wrestle or wrestle. she's a bit too too aggressive. It looks like she's a bit too aggressive out there. I mean, I understand like you in that moment and you finally getting being able to get in the ring and people are finally mm-hmm. you're you're just not able to get that exposure that you're looking for. Um, right. it just seems like she she might be just um a little bit too excited out there and maybe being a little bit too too rough. What's your thoughts on that? So <clears throat> excuse me, with Jay, you gotta remember where she came from. She came from okay. AEW. Okay. Okay. She but was the but but she had to go through some type of WWE training. I, I oh, know yeah, that yeah, just yeah, won't yeah. go boom no, no, to no. boom to boom. No, no, no. So no. you know what so, I'm saying? You're right, right. So you remember WWE signed her over a year ago, and you didn't see her till just now. So yeah, she went to the, the uh, developmental training and learned and and stuff. And um, even after even at the Royal Rumble, when she got done with Royal Rumble, you didn't see her like in SmackDown like uh, wrestling or anything like that. Because she went back to training, um, she she's gonna be fine. But yeah, she she was a little over over the top, um, being aggressive. But yeah. um, she'll get there. I think I think she'll get there. I think that eventually you're gonna see her and Bianca. That's the dream match. Okay, for sure. Okay, okay, okay. You say her and Bianca, but you know who I got? Who I want to see her go against? Charlotte. I want to see her go up against Charlotte. She got to go up against, <laughs> bro. Charlotte is the queen, right? She's the queen. She's the, you know, she, what she happened is. to Charlotte? I, you know, because I, like I said, I stepped away from it and I just, I can't recently came back to it. What happened to Charlotte? Is she, is she just on a break? She had to get some I, time? Yeah, yeah, I think, you know, I think she just took some little, I think she, I think she took a little break for a little bit. Um, maybe okay. she had a couple of injuries. But Charlotte's been for the I don't know if everybody done kept up, but for the last couple of years, Charlotte's been doing that. She'll come, she'll win a title, and then you know, hold it for a couple months, and then she'll lose, and then you don't see her for like, you know, um another six months or whatever. I don't honestly, I don't know what that's about. I know some of it was injuries, but I don't know at this particular moment why she's not wrestling. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I want to see her go against Charlotte because her husband's over there now. I mean, Andrade, he over, he you know, he's on SmackDown, he's there. So okay, okay, yeah, man, I want to see her. Um, I want to see her go up against Charlotte. That would be a great, and that would be a WrestleMania moment. Wrestle Forty One Mania moment. That would be a WrestleMania moment. But you, but you think they're going to give her? Uh, where she's going to eventually turn her back? I think. Mark my words, right here, for those of y'all that are watching. Mark my words, why right here? Jay Cargill is going to cross Bianca Belair SummerSlam. Somebody got always have you noticed that somebody <laughs> always have to cross somebody at SummerSlam. So I at SummerSlam, it, I, Jay Cargill go cross Bianca Belair. I think and then the feud is going to go on. 
I think there'll be a couple of crosses at uh, SummerSlam, but we'll get into that also. Yeah. When is when is SummerSlam? Am I just is the, 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 of course it's, it's in the summer. Is it in June? August. August. Okay. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I want is because The Rock is going back to film a movie, but he'd be back. You heard him live on. You heard him live on Raw the other day. He'll. <laughs> he said he's coming back. He says he's coming back. Mm-hmm. If you the champion or not, I'm coming back for you. Wind that back, back, Cody. Back some slam. <laughs> he's coming, Cody. <laughs> he's coming. I right, man. So so what's another match that stood out to you, man? What was another match that stood out to you? Um I I'll give you one that stood out to me not in a positive way. Okay. I think he de- I think he deserved better was Sammy and Gunter. Sammy and Gunther. I, Man, you know what? Yeah. That was a good match, though. That was, it, so you didn't like was, it. So t- talk, talk. Let's talk about okay. it. Let's talk okay. about it. I, I liked it, and I, I from the moment that Sammy walked out to the ring, I knew he's gonna win because you know he back there hugging his son and his, you know his wife uh, ran into KO. You know, um, so I knew he's gonna. I, I had a feeling he's gonna win, and. But the thing about it is, what Gunter held, held that belt for what six hundred sixty six days. Um, you know, I didn't know. Let, let, let me let me let me stop real quick. My bad, and I don't mean to stop, no, no, dude. No. I didn't know nothing about this dude until my like I said, I had recently came back when it was like The Rock. I was like The Rock. I'm coming, I'm coming back to WWE, and mm-hmm. he was saying Gunter, Gunter. I was like, who is this Gunter dude? And I seen him. I was like, there's no way this dude is all that. Watching that dude wrestle. Hey, Yo, kudos Trish, to the hey, 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 kudos to that dude, man. Kudos yeah. to that dude. But, but go ahead, he, man, because I had stopped. He, go ahead. He, no, no, he, you get. He, he's that dude. If you would have seen him from the beginning, whenever he first uh, arrived at NXT, uh-huh. uh huh, to where he is now, totally different. Totally different. Yeah. Um, that's a Triple H guy. That's that's yeah. one of the dudes in, in NXT that Triple H brought brought on up and you know making making a star. And he's gonna have big he's gonna have big things happen going forward. That's why that's another reason why he he had to drop that belt because okay. he he's he's gonna start being in the main event picture soon. Okay. Um, oh man, I tell you another good match: um, Paul Logan and Randy Orton and KO. Now that. Paul Logan, people need to give his props. You need to, you need to give. You need, yeah, to, yes. I would say give him that. I would say give him that. Give him his props. But I didn't like that match. I don't know why. It just, it didn't sell to me. Maybe, maybe it was a turn off for me when, when uh, Kevin Owens um, backed the go kart up to go pick him up. You see what yes. I'm saying? Okay. He went to go yes. pick him up. And I'm like, dude, you're supposed to be wrestling. You're not friends. You know what I'm saying? You're mm-hmm. supposed to be wrestling. And so, and he picks him up. And then the night before that, they both hopping into that same wagon and going to the Philadelphia, the Lincoln Field Stadium at that time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Leaving SmackDown to go over there and look for Logan Paul. I didn't like that. I don't, I don't know. Because you know a yeah. triple threat match, a triple threat match, everybody needs to be at everybody's throat. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And so, and, you, um, and, and Randy, you definitely can't trust Randy. Like that's you definitely that's can't why, trust. That's why they call him the Viper. You know, the Viper. I was gonna say mm-hmm. Snake. I can't remember what it was. Yes, it's, yeah. it's the Viper. It's the Viper. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So I mean, that part I didn't like the I didn't like the friendliness. You know what I'm saying? But what? Yeah. It, so Randy just not coming back. I I I I, I, I yeah. listened to a recently um interview where he was saying he did he had spinal surgery, right? Yes, yes, like, yes. Which he, is really he, he crazy. Was out, yeah, he's been out for um like over a year. Um, okay, you know the, the storyline was the bloodline took him out. Um, because mm. because because when he was before he got before he got injured, um, him and um. What's that boy's name? Um, I can't think of his name. They were tag team champions. Um, bro, um, oh, golly, Matt. Um, anyway, the dude with the long hair. He he's not there no more. Matt Hardy. No, no. Um, 
I can't even think of his name, but he wears flip flops. Okay. Um, um, but anyway, oh, he, that dude, uh, yeah. bro, yeah, yeah, him. yeah, dang it, yeah. bro. I had his name, I had his name right here in my head. Dang it, okay, hold on, let's see. Somebody comment and let's see if they did they, uh, Matt Riddle. Thank you, yeah. uh, yeah, thank, thank you, Dark Raven. Thank you, Dark Raven. Yeah. Dark Raven. Thank you, thank you yeah. so much, man. Comment, like, like on, like the channel, man, and subscribe. Thank you for your comment, Dark Raven. Matt Riddle. Yes, 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 yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So, so they were they were tag team champions, and you know, okay. Bloodline took them. Bloodline took them out. So that was the that was the storyline with Randy, um, being put on the shelf by the Bloodline, um, and he 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 came back. I mean, he. He looks good. Um, now there's, you could tell that he probably got probably about another two years left in him. That's about it. He's going if yeah. I could see him being like on a Roman Reigns type schedule where he could you know uh, wrestle, maybe not every every week. It might right. be you know once a month something like that. But you know just to protect his body, his back. That's a lot right. of bumps. Yeah, that is. And yeah, I mean, because uh, he, he was explaining like in the interview, he was explaining that um, Shawn Michaels had that same surgery. However, mm -hmm. times has changed now and that there's new ways to do surg surgery now versus when Shawn Michaels do it. And he's lucky to have um, have the doctors that he did that he have. And he say he got like titanium or something in him in his body near his spinal cord or something like that. Oh, wow. And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So he's, he said that um, when he came back, he, you know, he was in, he was fear fearful to do like the RKO's and the things like that. But after he got his first one out, uh, he feel a lot better and a lot comfortable going for it. Yeah. yeah. You know, and I hope, I hope he, you know, I hope a number of good health. I hope that, uh, because he, you know, he's one of the great ones. Um, easily top, top 50 superstars of all time. Um, you don't hold, you don't hold the belt for what he, he, I think he held it for, he's held it like at least what, 14 times or something like that. 12, 14. Yeah. 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 So, and I think he and I think he headlined nineteen manias when I saw the interview. I think he said nineteen WrestleManias that Rome uh, that uh, I'm sorry, not Rome, Randy Orton been in nineteen WrestleManias, and he said Taker has been in twenty seven, and he mm -hmm. said that uh, he said that uh, Triple H has been in um, uh, uh, Dark Raven says thirteen. So okay, he says he's been in thirteen okay. WrestleMania. But I thought it was nineteen because when I when I when I saw the um the interview, it said thirteen. So I mean, it said nineteen. But I might be wrong, Dark Raven. I'm gonna have to do some research on it and uh, get. Dark, I'm, Dark I'm gonna Google it real quick. They, they know they wrestling. Dark Raven knows they wrestling. Okay. Yeah, Dark That's Raven good. says. Dark Raven. He says, "Uh, only John Cena, Triple okay. H, and yes. Ric Flair has more." Okay. Oh no, he, he, they're talking about titles. He, oh, titles. About, okay. Yes. Okay, yes. titles. Okay. Yeah. And Dark Raven says, "Uh, Triple H has fourteen. Okay. 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 Yeah. yeah. And I was talking about main events and uh, with WrestleMania, I was talking about WrestleMania main events. Thank you, Dark Raven. Mm -hmm. We we'll appreciate you, man. We we'll appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, man. Let's see. What do you think about the the um, AJ Styles and LA Knight match? You know, okay, so for me, like I said again, he says, yes, world championship. Yeah, okay, so yeah, he, uh, Dark Raven was talking about uh, world championships. Okay, thank you, man. We appreciate you, man. Uh, he, uh, so that, that, so I, I, I don't really know, uh, LA Knight like that, right? Cause I'm, cause I'm, mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm, I'm one of the ones that The Rock brought back to WWE wrestling, but okay. I see he has a very big pop. Uh, a lot of yeah. people like him. It was a great match. It was a great mm -hmm. match. I enjoyed it. But uh, you know what I don't like though? Man? I don't I know we ushering in this new um audience, this new era. I don't mm -hmm. like when the old people that's been there lose. But I know that's their way of giving it back to the business. But I don't I didn't like the fact that AJ Styles lost. I feel like AJ Styles needs to be a champion. I just I don't know. I just feel like he needs to be a champion or something. So is AJ so Styles a heel now? He kind of he, he he I mean yeah it's 50 50. Um so LA Knight just to give you a little background, he used to be Eli Drake in TNA. 
Um, so he he's, and we got a, know, he's, we got a question for, we got a question okay. for you real quick, and you can and you can better answer this one for it. Can you read it? You okay. see it? Dark Raven says, no, "Is no. you, you want to read it? You want to read yeah. the comment and then, then, okay. then respond to it." All right. So it says, "Is is L.A. Knight and Elias the same person?" No, they're not. Um, L.A. Knight is Eli Drake. Eli Drake used to be in TNA. Um, so whenever he was in TNA, Elias was in WWE. Uh, he's always had that little catchphrase that yeah, like that's yeah. he had that in TNA. Yeah. And he came, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And so when he came over to when he came over to WWE, um, he was in NXT for a little bit. And you know, they got him polished and everything, and then they put him on the on the scene, and now you see what you get. Um, he has a big following, a very big following. He has a big following. The, 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 the only reason, I mean, yeah, I mean he's fought Roman, he's lost. Um, the only reason I think that holds LA Knight back is his age. He's 40. Mm-hmm. You know, um, so but I don't know, man. He got I can see him with a championship in the future, man. I can have have he been champion already. No, he should, he He should should be, he should be a champion. I I, I thought, honestly, I thought he's gonna play Logan Paul for the US belt, um, at WrestleMania. That's that's what I thought coming into WrestleMania, like maybe six, six months ago. I thought that he was gonna fight Logan Paul and either be like either, um, a U.S. title holder or intercontinental champion, something like that. I thought that's what he gonna start out with first, and then work his way up. Yeah, uh, L.A. Knight says uh, at least mid. Yes. Car, it's a mid card champion at least. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's 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 the I C in the in the U.S. belt. Um, yeah, you know, there's only so many titles. Like they don't have like any more like they used to. Like they don't have like the lightweight championship and the um the hardcore championship they don't have all that no more you know so um it's very limited on belts i do think the women do deserve another belt though they need to have some yeah. kind of mid-card belt for the women yeah yeah they do yeah they do they do need more belts for the women right because they only have mm-hmm. the the tag team championships and they only have the women's ch- championship right they well yeah too you got you got SmackDown, uh, women's heavyweight champion, and then you got the uh, Raw women's champion because Rhea has one, and then Bailey has the other. Uh, we got another comment. I'm not for sure if he's being funny, but he says, "Neo, uh, Neo Han, everybody, I'm a Chinese nightmare, Jing freaking Ping." So I don't know if he's referring <laughs> to Cody. Are you referring to Cody Rhodes? Hey man, we appreciate you for commenting though. <laughs> I don't know. If it, yeah, I don't know, bro. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate you for commenting. But yeah, man. So, so let's get down to the business, man. So, The Rock okay. comes back. Are you excited? The Rock comes back. Do you feel like he made WrestleMania um, uh, XL extra large? You know, and, and I know that means forty, but I'm just saying figuratively. Do you feel like he made it bigger than what the story would have been? Do you think they should have shook it? Do you, like what's your thoughts on the Rock coming back to WWE? So I feel like honestly, with the Rock coming back now, it's great. But I think they were a year overdue. Roman and Rock were supposed to fight last year at WrestleMania 39. Uh huh. Was in, Ho- in Hollywood? Yeah, in Hollywood. They were supposed to fight last year in Hollywood, but Rock wasn't in shape. Um, okay. So, therefore, you know, he comes back this year, and but everybody wants to see the Cody crybabies. They want to see Cody in it. And um, I, we're going to get Roman and Rock. Um, that doesn't necessarily have to have a, a title attached to it because who who both of them are. Who, you know, they, they, right, they're right, going right, 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 right. to be – we already know it's going to be a head of the table type thing. Right, right, um, right, 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 right. I do see, think- I thought I thought they was going to like kind of like transition that way. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Since like I feel like Roman shouldn't have speared the rock in night one. I feel mm-hmm. like Roman should have speared rock in night two. And hear me out. You want rock and Roman? You want Roman and the rock? Okay. The rock comes out, help Roman Reigns. 
And then he then goes and spears uh, the rock on accident. The rock hurt. He turns around. You know what I'm saying? Turns around. That, that, that he, hits Ro- he hits Roman. He hits Roman. Roman hits him. The rock, rock bottoms him. Boom. Cody Rose hit the rock. Hit the crossroads on him. Boom. And then, uh, you know, then I guess and then hit another move on Roman Reigns and then pin Roman Reigns. Boom, boom, boom. He get the title. He get out the ring. And now he won the title. You see what I'm saying? And now the Rock and Roman Reigns, I mean, it would have took the highlight away from Cody Rhodes, but now you have friction between the two. Now you have friction between Rock and Roman. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh- yeah, I, I, I agree that to a extent. Um, the only reason why I think like they didn't go that route is because you they wanted to get, you know, Cena and Undertaker, you know, the other legends. I, I want to talk about that. Yeah, I, I want to talk about that. <laughs> I want okay, so I don't feel like what's his name? Uh so solo. I don't feel like solo, solo. did his job right. I feel like solo should have been Still hitting, uh, see, still hitting, uh, Cody Rhodes to the point that John Cena comes out. It was just like awkward. All of a sudden, now John Cena music come out, and now he's mm-hmm. running down the ramp. I was excited, but I'm just saying it. It, it should have been like it's like he stopped hitting him and started yelling at uh Roman Reigns. Finish your sto- finish the story. Mm-hmm. Finish the story. Finish the mm-hmm. story. And then John Cena music comes out. I feel like it's, they should have been still hitting them. And then but, John Cena come out, and and then they go through all of that. But see, that that's a little, that's a little nugget because Solo gonna be the Solo is gonna be the one to turn on Roman. Solo has yeah. been the one. So like, I know you just now started watching again, but Solo has been Roman's like muscle. Like he, the Usos don't turn. You know. They don't turn on Roman came back, or Jimmy has, you know, and then Jay just turned on him and left. But Solo has never turned on Roman, and okay. Roman is the, Roman already declared Solo to be the next head of the table. Therefore, um, and you know, and then you know, Solo beat John Cena at it wasn't the WrestleMania. What was it? At? I think the SummerSlam last SummerSlam. Solo beat John Cena, so. I see why Cena came out, you know, the fight solo, or whatever, knock him out the ring. Oh, okay. Um, so, okay. So, that's okay. So, it makes sense then. It makes sense for John Cena because I was like, where's Stone Cold? <laughs> you know, me. Every, everybody thought that because they saw that when when Brock and Cody was at Raw and Rock made them bleed, that uh, 18 wood trail on the side, it had that uh, picture of, uh, of Stone uh, Cold now. Yeah. Yeah, so they thought Stone Cold would come out, and I did too. I was, I, I thought he was too, but, but wow, it's like, it's, it's, it's like they put Stone Cold in the background or something, man. Like, worst we won't, man. I was waiting for that, oh, the crowd, bro. Right, bro they would have, the roof was already off. The, they would have blew the sky out the roof. You feel me? The sky out the clouds. You feel me? I agree. I don't know what. I don't know. I don't know if they did offer it to him or if he, you know. I don't know what 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 the deal with that was, um, but um, overall, it's, it was still it was still a good ma- good match. I ain't, I didn't like the Undertaker like doing that to the, like choke some of the rock. I didn't like that. You don't understand. I didn't understand it, but I'm not gonna lie to you though. Let me tell you, I was on that couch. All of a sudden, <laughs> boom, and I'm like, what? but first, John yeah. Cena. I'm like, okay, yeah. No, yeah. first, no, and then a rock came out. I'm like, whoa, okay, it's the rock. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm like, can we get one more surprise? You know what I'm saying? But, bro, I think it was a great match. I think night mm-hmm. one and night two was great with the storytelling. Uh, man, I think I felt like the rock and Cody and night one could have been better. I felt like the rock should have been throwing Cody over there by his mom. Hitting them, making them bleed in front of his mm-hmm. mama, selling the story more. You know what I'm saying? That's when I felt like it should have went uh, but, more like that. But you got to remember, they're going to end up fighting again. They Mark are going to end up fighting again. Yeah. And and Mama Rose will be, she'll be front row with, with Brandy. And, you know, um, now this is what I did think. And then I had to go back and like relook and 
th- figure things out. You know, Goldust was there. He was a, he was a t- you know they show him on TV. I saw it on social media. Uh, his brother Dustin Dustin Rhodes. He was there. Huh. He just he just up in the skybox because he's an okay. AEW. He's on a, you know oh. so he's on a, he's on a contract. But it would have been cool if WWE could have bought his contract, and then you know he could have came on out and helped his brother as well. But you know I don't know. So so Dusty so Gold Gold Dust is with AEW. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, I didn't know that because I was looking for him. I was like, "Where's Gold Dust?" Mm-hmm. But that would have been awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? I'm just yeah. saying that would have been cool. But but how awesome is it that Cody Rhodes finished the story, man? Like. How awesome is that? Like, like I remember, like last WrestleMania, he came out and he told this. He told this story. I just want to give the belt back to my dad and hold it and show him, like, hey, I, we, I've did this. I've accomplished this task. And I believe when he said that, that resonated with the WWE artists. Like, damn, that was that's a great story, and it took off. And then they they made it that uh, they made it that last year. Let me ask you a question, Vince McMahon. I feel like Vince McMahon when he was over last year, right? Yeah. I feel like he pulls the trigger wrong and he tries to make it up the next following year, but it fails. Like when Roman Reigns mm-hmm. won the, I'm, I know I'm going way off, but when Roman Reigns won the Royal Rumble, the first time, the first time, did nobody want him to win? I think they wanted Edge to win. I think he was going against Edge or somebody else. And then they come back and give it to Roman Reigns. Then nobody wanted. it. I don't know. They just, I just feel like Vince McMahon, he kind of so, missed his, the calling of some some of the custom. Well, because Vince wanted Roman Reigns to be the next John Cena, the next Hulk Hogan, okay. the next Tom Cole, you know, somebody who carry. But Vince always wants, he always thinks the, only the good guys can carry it, you know, and sell the merchandise. Roman has been the first bad guy. See, when Roman was a good guy, you know, if you watch the documentary, he was a good guy. I didn't even like him when he was a good guy. I didn't like him when, yeah. you know, um, when the shield broke up and, you know, he was just a big dog. I didn't like him then. I felt like it was forced. I felt, you know, he wasn't good on the mic. Um, just all that. But once he came, once he came the tribal chief, uh, that's a different animal. Totally different. So, yeah. you know, and merchandise sales, I mean, um, viewership, you know, if, if Roman ain't on TV, SmackDown drops down. The rates drop down. So, uh, with that being said, with Vince, that, that's the best thing. Vince, Roman was his pet. That's what he wanted. He wanted him to be the next John Cena. And it just didn't go like that. Right, 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 right. I had to talk smack to somebody in the comments talking about some grown man talking about wrestling. And he said, uh, sit at home, play video games. Dude, I do not sit at home, play video games. <laughs> I, you I broke. Sure don't you broke. Sure don't this is a this is a trending topic. This is a trending topic, young man, or whoever you is. This is a trending topic that's over way over social media. So here we are. We talking about it. What, what, what is this dude talking about? I didn't even want to post this comment, but I just, hey, I just told him I said, "Pause, you're broke." Yeah, you listening, listening and you tuning in and you commenting. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Say, wait a minute, he listening. Wait a minute, because before you even before you even click on my uh, if before you even click on my live, you see the picture of wrestling. So you do you see the thumbnail of wrestling. So you clicked on the thumbnail, you listened, and then you commented not once but three times. Thank you so much, bro. <laughs> you say talk about something real. We talking about something real. This happened in real life, brother. But anyway, man. But yeah. So um, the main event, man. So you, so mm-hmm. were you impressed with uh, both main events on both night in, night one and night two? Yeah, yeah. Um, now I didn't want Cody to win. I didn't, me personally. But that's because I'm. A Why you didn't want Cody to win, man? The story sold itself. Man, should have let it draw out a little bit longer. Just a if bit he longer. didn't, if he didn't win this one, bro, they probably would have to check that dude into a suicide watch or something, bro. Well, here's the deal: when Rock, when Rock told Cody, "Hey, if you lose." You're done. Like you can't, you can't get no more shots. You know, 
make Cody go through the fire a little bit. You know, he got to calm his way back up. You know, uh, he could have won a money in bank briefcase. Then he could cash in whenever he wants to. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I just I, I just, feel like, I feel like the story was good, man. Like they couldn't ignore social media, man. Like they can, couldn't ignore it, man. Like the 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 dope man, bro, dude. If Cody Rose didn't win it, I think Philadelphia would have hopped over that barricade, dude. <laughs> I'm yeah. not lying because you know it was it was sold, bro. I mean, like it, uh, it was sold. You feel me? So like I feel like you know I feel like the story sold itself, man. I feel like it was time for them to uh to to uh, uh to do this. That Pete Gain though. I'm so, finna block this dude, bro. He talking about some where you go, dude. I got a bad one. I don't know about you. I got a bad one, but you still <laughs> in the chat and you still commenting, dude. In, in your mama basement, like chilling. In your mama <laughs> like, basement. Probably with some lotion. So <laughs> get on. You know somewhere. what I'm saying? Right. But actually, I'm not even gonna block you because the more comments, you know, it, it helps. It helps. Mm -hmm. It helps my page grow. So mm -hmm. thank you, brother. I appreciate it. But go ahead, man. Uh, so you feel like the story shouldn't? You feel like it, they should have held them out a little bit longer? Yeah, the um, till, till, just till SummerSlam. Um, I don't know. I don't know. If Roman got some movies lined up because I know he's taking time off. You know. Okay, but I, I thought it was. But, due, I thought it was due to the council. No, no, no. In the press conference, okay. he said. In the press conference, he, he said he'll always have to take medication, but. Um, I don't think it's like back like that. Now I could be wrong, mm -hmm. but I don't. I don't think so. I know the Rock uh, is filming a movie. He, the Rock star filming a movie too, so that's why he mm -hmm. has to go. I wanted is, did he get Roman involved with it too? And that, maybe. And that's what I'm saying. Uh, they said that Roman was gonna take some time off, and so they had to get somebody else to replace him. What more yeah. to replace him is to make Cody Rhodes finish the story. True. That that's true. Um. Now, what would have been a good swerve was that Damien would have cashed it in on Cody. Oh, uh, Damien? Mm hmm that, Bro, that would have pissed it up. Bro, you, you talking about boo? Bro, they would have... You talking about booing out the building? Hey, bro. Just, just a good just a good old swerve. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> nah, man. I don't think they... Nah, nah, bro. That would have... That would have hurt. That would have hurt. That would have hurt. <laughs> Let me, ask you, let me ask you this, man. Go ahead. I thought oh, you were no, going to say no. something. My bad. No. Let me ask you this, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Roman Reigns, man. I he's been he's been compared to the um to to the greatest of all time. Uh, mm -hmm. one of the greatest. You've heard Undertaker's. Roman is one of the greatest. You heard uh, uh Randy Orton. You heard Cody even giving him props. What's your thoughts mm -hmm. on on Roman? He he's the goat. Yeah. Really? Yes. Is it because? Yes. But okay, so let me ask you this: He's the goat. How? Because because they let him hold the title for so because he held the title for so long, or is he the goat because the Cody Rhodes story was that good that it boosted Roman to a? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, nah. I need that title so, back. So, okay, so you gotta remember. When he won that title, what when we well, when he this last time, was, um, <clears throat> he won in COVID. They ain't had no fans, um, so he was carrying this show with no no live audience. Okay, um, okay, I didn't know that. So yeah, yeah. So I thought John when, was a, I thought John Cena was a champ. Mm -mm, no. Okay. So. So uh no no John Cena, he was already in Hollywood. Uh so okay. this is 2020. This is yeah, this during pandemic 2020. So whenever COVID was going on, everything was locked down. Roman was um he was champion, but WWE they have a lot of fans. So what they did was they had like um you could log in on a computer and you know watch it like how we can watch it right you, now. You can yeah. watch it right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah and they, they, they show you yeah. And so um that's when you know he really came into his own, and then I mean, with today with social media, and I mean, dude, he just got an endorsement with Jordan, he, yeah. you know, he had, yeah, so I mean, you know, he, he, he's the, he's the man now, like, 
He's the man. Um, yeah, yeah, he's 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 the goat. He's the okay, goat. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, cause I mean, a, a lot of people was giving him credit, man, and so I and and uh, a lot of people was giving him credit, and I'm like, man, why is Rome? Why is everybody giving Roman the credit, man? But I see why. I see why now. Okay, so you giving him credit as well, man. So do you think the story is okay? So so the story is like complete, right? But do you think the story is? Uh, help made WrestleMania that more impactful, and including with The Rock or what? Yeah, like um, it made it, like they said it made, it made wrestling cool again. Yeah, it it's, did. You know, it's, like, yeah. I'm it's, telling it's, you, it's, it made me come back. It made me come back. It's, it's it made me back. come it's going, back. It's going back to the Attitude Era, man. Like you know when, um, you know early two thousand stuff like that. Like you know. Kids walking around, you know, doing a DX sucky and all that, like, like you yeah, know, yeah, it's, it's coming cool again. So, yeah. um, I think, you know, I think it's a good time. It's a good time. So, do you, uh, do you, what you what's your thoughts on the Rock changing his name to the Final Boss? Oh, uh, yeah, like I love it. Um, you know, whenever you feel. Like last time he was, last time he was heel, he was Hollywood Rock, um, right? Because he was in Hollywood and come back and and that that one that got that gimmick there. He was he's just funny, you know. But this one here, like he don't play around. Like he's he's strictly business. Yeah. And since he's like since he's like shareholder TKO, you know he he's the final boss. He's 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 the man. So. Yeah. He's don't think man. about it. You know, it's it's temporary, right? He's not gonna he's not gonna do that for long because he got movies to film. Um, and Rock, he's always been a good guy. Like you know, fans love him, so he can't stay he can't stay a heel forever. But I'll, let's just let's let's just enjoy it while while it's here. Right, 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 right. I like him, man. You know, man. Mm-hmm. You know his catchphrases. I mean, and in the Shut your mouth, like bro. The Rock is classic, bro. Like he's an all-time great. You feel me? No doubt. And so, like for the Rock to come back, I'm not gonna lie. He made wrestling cool again. You know what I mean? And uh, mm-hmm. Cody Rhodes' story was good. Um, Roman Reigns did a great job. Seth Rollins, um, man. It, it, I mean, I feel like the whole WrestleMania man was awesome, man. And and and, and I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it, man. So. I had to get, I had to do a live on it. I was like, man, let me get my boy on, man. It, it, yeah. it, it was an awesome job, man. It was, I mean, the whole night from night one to night two, man. It was, it was, it was very awesome, man. And, and it's, it's gonna get better too. Um, you know, I don't know if you saw what Triple H said about Roman was that you know when he comes back, you know, it's gonna blow your mind like his next story. Um, mm-hmm. And it, I did and hear him actually, say that, yeah, yeah. And then Roman actually put out a uh, on Instagram today, him in a gym. Saying, uh, you know, yesterday I born, you know, today's day one. So he got something coming up too. Like I just don't hope they, I hope they don't try to make him a a, a good guy again and all that. Like, nah, no, nah, brother, he, he got to keep the same image. He got to keep the same yeah, image. He got to. I agree because this is the version that everybody likes. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So you think you think when he come back, he's gonna go towards um Cody and get the belt? I, I honestly think what's going to happen because he's going to be out for or, a while, right? Okay, hold on. Let me hit you with another scenario. Okay. okay. Or you think they're going to try to get him to go after go after the other belt and then maybe make that belt just as cooler as the one he made. What was okay. your original thought? Because I don't want to I don't want to mess your original thought. Of it. What was your original thought? No, no. Okay, so no, but you, no. So there's there's three things that supposedly. This rumor that I heard. Okay. A, um, I can see him coming back at SummerSlam, being a good guy, and um, setting up him and Rock for WrestleMania what forty one. Okay. Because Rock, because Rock already said that he would never, he wouldn't wrestle unless it was like a good long storytelling, like it had to make sense. So. I think that Rock and so I think the bloodline is going to turn on Roman. 
I think Roman okay. like it, I think Roman they're gonna look at him like, oh, you know, you lost and you don't travel chief anymore. And they they'll turn their back on Roman to where Roman is gonna end up tearing down what he built. I could see him doing that. You know, two more two more uh cousins just signed with WWE uh what's his name? Fatu. Um I forgot his first name. Yeah, two more two more dudes just signed two two more of the Usos cousins just signed with WWE. I thought they okay. were gonna come at WrestleMania, but they didn't. So you okay. got two more coming back. Um, I could see that happening, or I could see that this is a rumor I heard. I don't know if it's true or not. Supposedly, he's supposed to come back uh, with that blue belt because that's really the the, the undisputed belt. That right, yeah, yeah, belt. yeah. I seen, I seen, and I was like, "Where's the other belt?" He Roman took it. So, so okay, so what happened? He had the blue belt, and he had that. He had a black belt. Okay. And then, and then I I remember them revealing a new title, and I was like, "What's the difference?" It was no difference. Mm-hmm. Maybe like a couple yeah. colors changed. Yeah. So when it happened was once that happened, then he just started coming out. Well, when Bray Wyatt died, excuse me, when Bray Wyatt died, that's when Roman quit carrying that blue belt because that's the last belt Bray Wyatt had. Oh, Roman took that, okay. Roman Roman took that belt from Bray Wyatt. That's how okay. he ended up winning. That's how he went. So. Once when Bray Wyatt died, you notice they ain't had that belt no more. So okay, okay, okay. But I could see Roman coming back with that belt and saying like, "This is the real belt," and they might have to try to unify it. Then I also heard that Cody might Cody might come back with the old school belt, the wing belt. You yeah, know. I, I seen him on a Pat McAfee show saying that. I seen him on a Pat mm-hmm. McAfee uh, show saying that he he's saying that he don't know if he can get it, but he we want to come back with the. What you, what's your thoughts on that on the wing belt? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, you love it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, yeah. I don't like the new the new ones now. I mean, the big W. I mean, they look they they look they they look a more they look more modern. I think the other one looks too old. Unless they're gonna shape it up real good. But you know what mm-hmm. I was thinking that they was gonna do on Raw, uh, when The Rock said, "I like that belt, Cody," and Cody was like, "I, I like that belt." You know what I'm saying, and so I thought make, they make was gonna them fight. To make them yeah. fight for the belt. I I think the what the Rock should do is you know give that People's Champion belt back to the back to the organization and have mm-hmm. them fight for fight for like a break, make it another championship, make it the People's Champion. You know what I'm saying? The real, you know what I'm saying? The People's Champion belt. That. You know what I'm that. saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think that should happen, man. They but should, they should, I think they, really they should. Yeah, and and I think and I think that they might mix them the two belts in the Rock and Cody though. That'd be pretty cool though. That's a nice wanna, belt the Rock got though. Oh yeah, I want to know what Rock put in his hand. That's what I want to know. That's what I was gonna ask you. What do you think the Rock put in his hand? I don't. I don't know. Like I don't heard is a Hall of Fame ring of the daddies. I don't heard that. Which I don't know how Rock would have got it. I heard that it was a. What does I heard? I heard it's a Rolex that was smashed or something. I don't know. I don't. I, I'm anxious to see what it is. Okay. All right, man. Those of y'all that are watching, man, let's see, man. What's y'all thoughts? What you think The Rock put in Cody Rose's hand? What do you think The Rock put in Cody Rose's hand, man? That's that. That's a good question, man. I seen. I seen like a couple of memes. Like he put a ticket in somebody. He put a ticket. Uh, a yeah. Ticket or something. Hey. You know, people got jokes about what it is. I heard it is a condom and stuff like that. Like, it is oh, but but they but, wilding. Yeah, yeah, but I I don't know. I, I'm you know that's just another mystery to keep people watching and trying to figure out what it was he put in his hand. Um, but it's gotta be it's gotta be something. Yeah, it's gotta be something. What? Uh, how long you think The Rock is filming this movie? Do you know? It is. Is it a month? Is it two months? Because I remember him mentioning it at the press conference, but I just don't remember what he said exactly. Uh, I, so I think it's already. I think it's already pretty much set stone that Cody and Rock fighting their, um at um SummerSlam in August. SummerSlam. Okay, I'll mm-hmm. okay, okay, okay. So, I'll say so, it can't be backlash. Yeah, so backlash is next. Is the next pay per view? Okay. Then I don't know what which ones after that, but you're gonna have another one 
So let's see. What are we in April right now? So backlash yeah. is in May. Yeah, three weeks. So it's in May. You'll have another one like maybe eliminate maybe elimination chamber or something. I don't know. Something that's gonna happen like in, in June. But yeah, August. Cause you know, SummerSlam is the next big um that's the like the step below WrestleMania. Okay. As far as like, as far as like the big events. Okay, okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Hey man, look, man, I appreciate you for coming on here, man, and, and chopping it up with me. We gotta do this oh, more, no, no. man. Maybe, oh, yeah. maybe once a week, man, after Raw or after SmackDown, man, we can we can chop it up, man, get our thoughts. I gotta get used to these new faces. I don't, I don't I ain't gonna lie, bro. I don't like it. It's not Stone Cold. It's not. <laughs> it's not. It's yeah. not. You know what I'm saying? I, I I'll Says, hit you on the game. I will let you know. Oh, so, uh, why right here he says, uh, it had that most that most watched feel. Uh, I'm assuming they talking about WrestleMania. Oh, it says right here, Mania felt massive. It did. Hey, it thank did. you so much for commenting. Subscribe to the channel, man, and you can join into the conversations that we that we that we're gonna have in the future, man. Hey, man, my boy Gaston, man, we can we we can do this once a week or twice a week, man, just to check in, you know. Yeah, yeah. But hey. WrestleMania definitely had that um massive feeling, man. Hey. Uh, Dundee made MLD. Thank you. He says, OFC, my guy. What that mean? What do OFC mean? Oh, I'll, for sure. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Oh, wait, oh, 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 OFC. I don't know. I don't know. He got to oh, tell me what that <laughs> mean. Look, look, bro. I, I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I don't know what that mean. OFC, my guy. Oh, of course, my guy. I think that's, my, uh, of course, okay. my guy. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking that's what that mean. Appreciate you. Oh, he said, oh, yeah, yeah. of course. He says, of course, I subscribed. LOL. Thank you, my boy. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hold on, wait, let, let me get you some. Let me get you some bombs. <laughs> Shout out to Likeable Dialogue. Hey man, thank you, man. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. But uh, but yeah, man, uh man, WrestleMania, yeah. it was massive. And I have to agree with him. WrestleMania was massive. I mean, it this was the Where, where would you place this WrestleMania? This WrestleMania was the, the biggest of them all for me. Where would you place it? Who, me? Yeah. T I would say top two. Top, top two. two. Uh, what, what would be your other one then? Uh, uh, Shawn Michaels versus uh, Stone Cold when Mike Tyson no, was I'm gonna a, say, a special guest. No, nah, you, know, you, you, you know what I'm going to say? I'm going to go this one, and then I'm going to go the Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. Just one psh, more oh, yeah. shot, and I'll <laughs> be history. I remember that, boy, when I was a little kid. This time, I'm going to step it up and shout. This time, yeah. I'm going to step it up and shout. Okay, I he says, uh, Dundee says, depends what you like, wrestling or beautiful moments. Okay, I, I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that. I agree with that. I moment. agree with that. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We have to uh, hop up. Yeah, yeah. You got to follow the um, follow the Instagram page, and uh, I can DM you the link or something like that. DM me your information, and I can DM you the link, and man, it can have you to jump on the channel, man, and and uh, join the uh, the next conversation, man. <laughs> Bro, hold on. I be getting some weird comments. I'm I'm just gonna display this one. Listen, what this it says: P Diddy watching you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, bro. That I'm so likable dialogue. Bro, I be having the weirdest <laughs> comments, dude. Hey, but I appreciate your comment. But look, but but I would say that one, I would say the rock and stone cold, the rock mm -hmm. and stone cold, and this one was the biggest two WrestleManias for me. Cause I remember, you know what I'm saying? He says, What's the insta? The insta, I'm gonna take it down. It's likable. Dialogue, likable dialogue. I'm finna uh hold on, I'm finna uh take this off the way you'll be able to see it. One second. Uh the insta is likable dialogue. Uh oh, I hear it. Boom. You, you should see it at the top of the screen. Likable dialogue. That's L-I-K-B. I'm sorry, L-I-K-E-A-B-L-E -E dialogue. Likable dialogue. You know what? Next time I'm gonna put it. Down here at the bottom, you can see my my. It's on my name tag, likable 
dialogue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. And uh, DM me your information. I can send you the link to uh to join, man. I think he just accepted me too. I think he just uh did it. Let me see. Found it. Just follow. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I think I just I see it. Thank you so much, man. We appreciate you. But yeah, yeah, man. Uh, on the next one, you can definitely join in, man, and I'll reach out to you, man, and uh, you can join in because I think we finna end this one here soon. But uh, yeah. but yeah, man. So I would say the Rock and Stone Cold that would be my mm-hmm. best one, and uh, the Rock and Stone Cold, yeah, yeah, he would be my best one. Somebody said likable Diddy, man. I gotta get up, out. man. These people are right here. <laughs> <laughs> these people wild and bro. That's funny though. Make sure you subscribe too, Danny Mac. But uh, but yeah, man. Um, so it was an awesome WrestleMania for me. For awesome WrestleMania for you? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Can't wait for um, WrestleMania uh, forty one. Depends what goes on. Yeah, yeah. I, I I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be a great one too as well. I'm telling you, as long as, long as Hunter's run, running it right now, we're we're good hands. We're good hands. Okay. So, so yeah, definitely. He froze up. Friday or something? I don't know. Huh? But sometimes my signals, sometimes my yeah, signals yeah, be fro- uh. Yeah, it froze up. Sometimes I, you know, and I'm in here with the router. I don't know what's going on with it, man. No, that's all good. My, cause my battery about to die anyway. So okay. Um, all right, man. Guys, man, look, we appreciate you, man. We we'll appreciate you guys for tuning in. He says, overall, what a weekend professional wrestling. Yes, overall, yes, it was a great, great mm-hmm. weekend of wrestling. Definitely was a great professional weekend of wrestling overall. And then he says, Friday today has been nothing but prayer wrestling. Yes, def- Friday through today. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes, definitely nothing but prayer wrestling. Yes. Hey, Amen. Look, but we'll thank you guys for tuning in. I'm your host, LD, the kid. You tuning in to Likeable Dialogue. Hey, what's up, guys? This your boy LD, the kid, and you tuning into Likeable Dialogue. Shout out to Likeable Dialogue.